Hi my YouTuber friends, it's Scar Punk again with another video. This is just a, a daily regular video, just another day in, in the life of living alternatively. I have my dog walking his spot, his lovely spot. I'm about to clean my van out, it's a Sunday morning, it's freezing cold out here. It's like, it's like, like 20, it says about 25 degrees, but it's really probably even more like 20. Let's grab their walk and do the whole thing, let me free, oh, freedom. Anyway, I'm gonna just, just unwelcome my vehicle. So I'm about to clean up my vehicle. My heater, my heater, I may have to get a new heater. This one don't work no more. I try to use it, I set it up, I set the heater and everything. It doesn't work, it doesn't fire, I keep pressing it, keep firing it. Don't work anymore. So I'm, I, what I'm gonna do, as a temporary source, I'm gonna buy a big uh, big body heater, $75 a Walmart, cheap heater. This I paid like a hundred something dollars for this heater. This thing's full of shit. It it worked for it worked when it worked, but even then it didn't work fully because the heat stays the heat stays in one area because there's no fan. What I'm gonna do eventually is gonna buy one of those um, uh, diesel heaters, but I want to get the gas one one, which is I think it's about twelve hundred dollars. They're expensive, but it's good because it has a fan and bl and it blows the heat like it works pretty much like the heater this heater does. It's the same as this heater, except it's it's hooked up. I'll, I'll probably hook up. Underneath, have have the uh, and draw have a hole, draw a hole here, have the the heat going through there, and then underneath, then have the, the exhaust underneath and something something like that underneath. So I'm not gonna buy any of these heaters no more. These propane heaters, they work, but in the cold weather, after a couple of years, they they start to fail because the cold weather and then in the van. Remember, the van gets freezing cold in the daytime right now. It's it's cold out here now. See, it's cold out here right now. You know, it's beautiful. It's, it's freezing cold. Scrappy over there. Where's Scrappy? There he's over there having fun. He's just doing his own thing, you know. And, and that's about it. So, so I'm, I'm, so that's my thing. I always recommend that to people. You know, when you build a van out, you know, you want a good, especially if you live in the, up north or in a cold type of area where you're gonna have summer in the cold, then you definitely need a good, good heater, good heater. My van, like I said, has a heater before. Has a good heater. But the heat don't go through through the back. I can't, I can't run the van and keep it running all night. That don't make sense. So I'm gonna get that. But for now, uh, I'm gonna get. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna buy a big body heater from Walmart for seventy something dollars, and then put that up. But that will work. That will work for now. And I, I know that will fail eventually. Also, also, which is fine. But I'll buy that for now. For now, and then I'm gonna look into the um, the heater, the diesel heater. Looking for the diesel heater. That's what I'm looking to. The diesel heater. But I want to get the, the gas, the gas one, which, and like I said before, I get, get take this nuts, take this crap off, and put it, put a hole here, and I can have my when I have the heater on now, it will blow the air, and it doesn't use much um, battery power. It just basically, use nothing because the, the fan, it's the fan that pushes the heat forward. These type of heaters are good in an area where you say you're sitting right here, then it's okay. But if you're in your bed like I am, I'm in my bed sometimes watching TV in my bed in my van parked somewhere the heat don't feel over there so as you can see i still got to use my heavy sheets i shouldn't have to use a heavy sheet if i have a heater on that don't make sense you know so you know especially if i have a good heater so that's what that's what i'm going to do it's good. you got the cheap chinese version um diesel heaters which is like 200 dollars, 199 but if you're going to buy something like that it's best you spend the money and get it properly so i'm going to the real manufacturers and you know i'll pay the 1200 dollars and get a good heater that will last you for years when you buy these Chinese brand, uh, brands, they're okay, but I've heard horror stories on other van dwellers where they do work, and some people have great luck with them, most people do not. After a couple of years, they break down like this. Broke down a couple of years. So that's what, that's what I'm gonna do anyway. So anyway, guys, <laughs> oh, it's cold in here, so the heater's not on, so I got no heater on, so it's cold. I'm gonna do some vacuuming, it's just there. What do you want? He's <laughs> having fun. <laughs> Man, it's dirty. It's a dirt in here, right? Eh? Wow, it's disgusting. But, oh, well. <laughs> it's got to be all over the place. There you go. But other than that, though, it's a nice day. I can't complain. No, it's actually, it's not a nice day. It is a nice day. It's just freezing cold. <laughs> Woo! Oh, it's going to be a terrible day, but it's all right. It's all good, though. That's what I like about living life on your terms. Uh, anyway, guys. Let me go, I got some clean up to do. Scrappy's doing his buying and stuff like that. I just thought I'd make a video and let you guys know what I'm gonna do 
I just want to make a video and let you know what I'm going to do with a heater. So that's what I'm going to do. Heater don't work no more. It was a good run for two years, but ah, uh, fuck it. I'm going to buy, a, like I said, I'm going to buy a big body heater temporarily. And then next year, I'm going to buy next winter. By next winter, I'm going to buy the diesel heater. Have it hooked up in here. And in fact, I may get, I may get the cheap diesel heater, the cheap version, the Chinese version, to put in the camper trailer. So the cheap one, I'll put in the camper trailer and I'll buy the good one for the van. Oh, I may, I may just buy two good ones and done. And away we go. With that, guys, I'm out of here. <laughs> that was fun, guys. There you go. Oh, that place is dirty. Look at that, dirty. Can't make this stuff up. Eat your food. There you go. Eat your food, right? <laughs> Let's watch you. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, living life on your terms. Keep it nice, keep it sweet, and keep it real. I'll see you in the next video. That's all. Got some cleaning up to do. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. I'll see you guys later. And thank you so much for the new subscribers. You guys are awesome. Loving, loving DIY videos. These, these videos are not professionally made. I don't use fa fancy cameras, fancy drones, and that crap. In fact, let me show you my drone. You know what my drone is? This is my drone right here. If I want to get an air shot high up there, I use this. This is my drone, have it up, and I do this. That's my drone. That's how I do it. DIY style. DIY drone. This is my drone. <laughs> oh, what a nut job. Imagine that. This is my drone. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here anyway. See you in the next video, alright, guys? Keep it up, keep it sweet, keep it real. Subscribe to me. I'm out. Later.